everyone, I'm Jackson, and here with me is Anna. Hey! Uh, we're here to show you RESTful.net. So, building backends is really tedious. You have to do a lot of things in order to uh, get all of your RESTful endpoints online, and then that's kind of duplicated for databases. Um, there are some cool solutions for this in things like Parse and Firebase, but with those, you have a database that's on their servers, and you don't control the database, and it's not your code. Well, RESTful.net allows you to generate the code that you can have for yourself very easily using a user interface. So let's get started. First thing we're going to do is we have authenticated with GitHub already, but if you hadn't already authenticated with GitHub, then it will ask for your authentication, and we're going to create a new repo. Let's call it my test repo, um, and it has a description of test. Now, this framework is uh, set up so that you can choose to generate your backend with different kinds of frameworks. Right now, Sales and Mongo are the only ones available, but eventually there can be other things. Let's go into schemas. So, we're going to create a schema for an object. Um, let's create an artist object. Uh, and an artist object has multiple attributes, like they of course probably have a name, which is a string, um, and that's required. They also probably have a, um, let's say that this is a music artist, they have songs, uh, which is a collection. You can have a collection of songs. And those can be our two attributes for the artist. Let's add a new schema. Let's make this uh, schema for a song. And we can add an attribute that's a title, that is a string. Um, yep. Now, one of the cool things about this is we can associate our objects. So as you can see, we now have song inside of here. So, oh, no, I don't want, I want to make the name a string, and then I want to make songs a type song. So we have now a collection of songs. So we've defined a short schema. Of course, you'd probably define more of a schema in an actual production environment, but now we can go ahead and publish. So let's go ahead and publish it. It publishes, and we're done, and we can now go see the repo that contains all of the information about our backend, and it contains various models and schemas with the, the proper information that we need. And if you were to download this and install its dependencies, then you have a backend right out of the gate. That easy. So we just built a backend in minutes.